Hello, and welcome to Tax App Professionals video on how to create and send an e-signature request using the new e-signature request tool within Tax App Professional. My name is Jake Etheridge, and I'm the Senior UX Designer for Tax App Professional. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this new tool. As you can see, I'm at the e-file summary steps on my screen right now. And today I'm going to be using a prototype build of the software, which means that it's not exactly one-to-one -one of what you would see, but it's pretty darn close. And we're using this because this feature will not be live until the e-filing season is officially here. As you can see, I'm in the e-file summary steps and I've gotten all green check marks because I have filled out all of the essential information. Once I've done that, I can actually go right over here to this new request e-signature button and hit start. From here, I'll be notified of how easy it is to create an e-signature request. I can choose to not show this message again if I want, but I'm gonna continue forward. From here, I can choose to select which forms I would like to include, including the federal 8879 or a state related form, or if you were one of our users that is using bank products, a bank application form. I'm gonna hit continue to move forward. And as you can see here, I'm now able to customize my request. I can view the documents that are included, uh, automatically generated by Tax App Professional, or I can upload my own. Uh, quick note here, if you do upload your own, you won't be able to, as of right now, request a signature on user uploaded documents. However, your clients will be able to download those documents for their records so that you still are meeting all compliance needs. It's going to automatically pull over the recipient's names, email, and I can choose to enable KBA. And then below, I have a variety of tools for my reminders and expirations that I can modify. I'm going to move forward. And from here, I can choose how I would like to pay for this e-signature request. As you can see, by default, we're going to opt to using your balance for e-signature envelopes. This is going to happen if you have an e-signature envelope balance of which you can purchase e-signature envelopes from our website, or you can click the link in product in order to take you to the website to purchase them. You would have the I accept automatically checked and it would let you know what your new envelope balance is, or if you prefer, uh, you can uncheck this and hit use credit card and go through a flow that allows you to enter in your credit card information or use your stored credit card from onboarding. But moving forward, I hit review request and I'm able to review this information before sending. You'll also notice here that there is a template uh, that I can modify if I so choose, but I think this is a pretty good template of what I wanna send to my client. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit send envelope. And just like that, it lets me know that I've sent this envelope pretty easy in just a matter of a few clicks, I was able to create and send an e-signature request. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please direct them to the Tax App Professional Support Team.